had a, a message from uh, Beth, who's new on Patreon. Um, she asked me about the, the reference photographs that I sometimes use on the, on the pictures. Sometimes I'll use reference photographs. Sometimes I'll just make them up. And then sometimes I'll just use images that I see on the internet. So um, the best place, when I do use a reference photograph of my own, then I'll post it on my Patreon page. So that's where you can always see um, and, and, and compare how I've interpreted the, the reference material. Obviously, if I've used, if I've made it up, or if I've used an image I've seen on the internet, due to copyright reasons, I can't really, I can't really post them. I can just hear the blackbird in that hedge somewhere. I can't see him, but he's definitely in there somewhere. I'm just curious to see what the view is like from that other side of there. I think sometimes I've seen sheep and things in this field. There's none there today, unfortunately. They're probably up in the in the warm somewhere, I'd imagine. Normally you can see for miles, but obviously with the mist and the snow, the visibility is not very far today. It does make for a very nice atmospheric scene. That'd probably make a nice painting just there, something like that. There's lovely compositions all around. I used to live near the city centre of Birmingham and I used to think what a dump. Um, but even there, there's always you know trees and rivers, there's things you can paint. Again, I think that's another nice one, just like that. I'll take a photograph of that. It'll be on my Patreon page if you want to see it. Probably zoom in a whole load of compositions there. I'm just using my camera phone. If you had like a decent lens, um, zoom lens, there's probably dozens and dozens of paintings amongst all that. If you just zoomed in and just cropped them, you know what I mean? 